Hi! Are you a Tomb Kings player and do you wonder how to paint your horde of skeletons in a reasonable amount of time? Well, in that case, I hope this video can help you. I'm Erna Meister and you're welcome on my channel. Now I made this with the Tomb Kings, but of course it will work with any kind of skeletons. I started with an undercoat of terracotta to give the worms of the desert. Then I made a zenithal highlight with a wraith bone, but you can use any other kind of bone color you want to. I used a rattle can to being fast and I'm using it from above at like 45 degrees. In this way my primer actually functions as base coat for the main color of my whole army. Now it comes to the actual base coating and this is the most time consuming part so let's figure it out. I used a dark brown speed paint from Army Painter on all of the wood parts and also all of the metallic parts. Later on I will put some true metallic metal dry brushed on that parts, but for now they will stay brown. At this point I also had to choose my accent color and I went for a real bright blue, but you can use any color you want, like a red, yellow, pink, turquoise. I used the magic blue from Army Painter which is my, I think, favorite speed paint. And now it comes to the most important part of the process, which is a deep wash. Now, I heard some really bad things from the deep wash from Army Painter, so I decided to mix my own. And so I also had the possibility to get exactly the color I wanted, which was the Seraphine Sepia Tone from Citadel which I tried to reproduce and I'm pretty happy with it. So I just took model by model from Spear and dipped them into the wash. It felt really good and satisfying. And so the recipe for this wash is one part of burnt umbra ink, one part of raw umbra ink, three parts of matte medium, one part of PVA glue, and ten parts, about ten parts, of water. And then like one or two drops of dishwashing soap. And yes, I had to read because I have a memory of a goldfish. If you're using this kind of washes, make sure that your base coat is completely dry especially if you're using the speed painter, like the old recipe which had the reactivation issue, uh, which personally I really like, but yes, in this case it could be a problem. So I had to be pretty quick with the wash, don't leave them too much in the wash, otherwise the paint will reactivate. I found out that taking out the models from the wash really slowly helps avoiding the formation of drops, which could ruin your paint job. Then I took a brush and removed all of the remained drops on the models. And once the wash was fully dried, I took some gold paint and dry brushed it on all of the metal parts, which I wanted to be like brass but I think that dry brushing gold on brown really looks more like brass than gold, so I went for it. Then I put the same gold on all of the parts where you have to be a bit more careful, so I couldn't use a dry brush. And like for the standard file and rank units, this would actually be enough, and I will leave it there. But this specific unit is actually a pretty elite unit, uh, which is the Tomb Guard, so I wanted to give them a bit more attention. 
starting with uh, metals, I took silver paint and dry brushed it on all of the surface that would reflect more light, like uh, the top of the shield, the top of the helmet, and all of those parts to increase the reflection of the metal parts. Then I dry brushed some white paint on the cloth of the skeleton to help differentiating them from the bones. I also painted some details, like on the helmet and also on the shield. And because in the rules they have magic weapons, I made some purple effects with an airbrush, because as everyone knows, magic is purple. The only thing left to do is painting the rim of the base brown, and they are now ready to go to the battlefield and die for uh, the king. But I don't know, can they actually die? Because they are already dead, so it doesn't make any sense. These are not the original models, as you can see. They are 3D printed from me and I think they look so much better and for like not even a tenth of the price. And this is the same process and same paint scheme on different units to show you how it looks. So yeah, that's it. I'm really excited about painting some more skeletons, some more units, and also to try them on the battlefield. And oh, maybe also some terrain. Some Tomb King's terrain would be nice. Hmm, maybe it will come up in some of the next videos, who knows. If you liked this video, please let me know it with a thumb up. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I actually already use a lot of tips and information that you gave me in the comments and that that's great. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See you the next time. Have a good time. Bye.